They're moist, chewy, and chocolatey. And while they look like your typical brownie, they're actually made without wheat flour. Zoe Nixon is the owner-operator of Sin Grano Ancient Grains Bakery, a bake shop specializing in gluten-free foods and baked goods. I make uh, three kinds of bread. Um, of course, everything's gluten-free. Um, my two breads, one's called Sunflax. It's got flax and sunflower seeds in it, as well as many other gluten-free flours. And the other one is my Bucky bread, which is a buckwheat quinoa blend. And uh, I have a garlic herb ciabatta, which is really good for cookies and stuff like that. And then I also make uh, brownies, my simple brownies, uh, a few types of muffins, um, and then I also do a few uh, cakes and stuff like that. Today, Zoe is showing us how she makes her sinful brownies. All right, so what do we do first? Uh, the first thing we want to do is crack in 12 eggs. We're making a really, really big pan of brownies. We then beat the eggs. And in a separate bowl, we combine olive oil and vanilla extract and add it to the eggs. So that adds a flavor to it? That adds really good flavor. Yeah, I don't scrimp on any of the ingredients. I always use the best ingredients. We then add the dry ingredients into the egg mixture and continue to mix. Now the trick is to aim for the bowl when, the, when it's at the other side. Okay. <laughs> From there, you add the mixture into a pan, add chocolate chips, and bake at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Zoe opened the bakery last year after hearing that her father missed eating bread and other baked goods due to his intolerance to gluten. A number of people are realizing that they've been feeling bad because they're either gluten intolerant, uh, have a wheat sensitivity, or actually are celiac. And I don't think it's because um, the number of celiacs is growing, I think it's just because it's so easy to diagnose now. Gluten is a protein found in foods processed from wheat and related grains, including barley and rye. But for people with celiac disease, allergies to wheat, or wheat sensitivities, a gluten-free diet is the only medically accepted treatment. That nice, beautiful thing we call gluten is so gooey and stretchy, stuff like that. That gives that really, um, that really stretchy feel to bread that you like so much. Uh, Gluten-free bread, we use a couple of things to try and mimic that. Um, we use gums, so one is uh, guar gum, and the other one is xanthan gum. And then we can use other stuff like chia seeds or flax. And flax kind of almost mimics eggs, it goes really gloopy and stuff like that. So we use that kind of stuff to try and mimic the texture. To learn more about celiac disease and gluten-free foods, the Kelowna chapter of the Canadian Celiac Association will be hosting a national conference in Kelowna from May 25th to the 26th at the Delta Grand Resort. For more information, visit KelownaCeliac.org. And to learn more about Singrano Ancient Grains Bakery, visit Singrano.com. In Kelowna, for Shaw, I'm Marianne Ockel. That is very good.